10.22 is the date, 2013. The time is 8.42 a.m. Pacific Standard Time going into the noon lunch hour in New York time. I want to show how these stocks are selling down from their exuberant highs. Yes, Amazon's going to report earnings, but it doesn't matter. It's that sell down. We get a good pop off of that bottom. Once again, it's an MMT update. When you look at Apple selling from 528 down to the lows here, from five here, here's the high reversal from the gap. Just like Netflix sold down. 528.44, here's a low. Here we are. 508.3 pennies. Now we're up here at 518. That's a $10 bounce off of that bottom. The opening bell short gap has been in play. It's day number two. Apple computer. Big sell down short. Okay, what is it you had to say? So there's that example here. I'm not done. We got Amazon. Let's go to some other ones. Let's get them all set up. How about MasterCard? Okay. They're working the way that they should. Look at this fucking Tesla. We can clearly see that that bottom still remains fairly strong and that getting that long down here on the bottoms after they had their big $10 down move intraday. Short side is paying a second day in a row. It's broad based. Here we go with the beautiful snapshot. Like I said, it's 8.46 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10.22, 2013. Right below the $1,100 mark from 10.96. I'm going to show people what the range is. $41 reversal. Right now, it's currently $32.97 off of the high. Once again, buying the put options and the sell short finally came into this overbought tape. Each play or each setup stands on its own merit within its overbought exuberant overbought ranges this is what happens and then we make a bottom $41 reversal on Priceline when resorts selling down from the highs finally makes that high gets up here to that 173.20 and gets all the way down here to 168.4 they too are going to report earnings on October 23rd we will stay on the sideline. Obviously, there's distribution, and these sell gaps have been happening all morning long throughout the trading session. So the new MMTs can clearly see during this time frame how the broader names are selling off their highs. Social media stock that got back up to 252, trading all the way down here to 238 and some change. Look, LinkedIn, once again, across the board. People are taking profits and distribution. So these stocks are all selling off their highs, double top highs, reversals, for day number two of uh, the 21st and the 22nd. And then we have the Netflix series that we did earlier. BIDU, BIDU, on that opening bell with that gap, selling straight down and making those lows. Look at that big reversal up here. I'm just going to give you the daily ranges right here. $11.58 was that short off of that open. So, once again, broad based selling, how to identify the short. Right now, we're only $5.88 off of this bottom where you can go long. But we identified where the price volatility is working in both directional price movements on the opening bell, 8.49 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 10-22-2013. This is the true nature of what happens when stocks get extremely overbought. They come down. Big Bell Weather Cell Gene, CELG. What did it do? Once again, this particular name is a biotech stock. And it, too, has reached an overbought level. And it, too, traded down from 161 almost down to the bottoms here of 156 and some change. 157. And it's came right back up here off of the bottom. That's a $3 reversal move. And Celgene, 
One thing, MMTs, stocks are starting to take distribution. It's very clear on how many short side of the tape, the long side of the tape coming right back up. We're just going to close this with those put options that were marked down from 55.70 on the 390s. They hit a low of $19 and they just hit a high 53.50. How about that? That's on the Netflix puts. Super Gap. Stock has been selling down all day and continues to sell down. Here is a 335 call. The high was 54.97, printing 12.15 at 8.51 Pacific Standard Time. What is the date? 10.22. So the bulls got taken to the woodshed once again. Not only that, when we get over here to the 335 call, it too had a $56 high and a $17.55 low. So one of the things that this call is in the money slightly, we're down here at the 339 area in Netflix. We're going to conclude the video. The thing about it is, is where the put side of the market was working and how to short that opening bell and how stocks in a broad base failure meaning that they were breaking down broad base together the high flyers from very very overbought levels let the lesson be learned today